Welcome back to Chronically Healthy Life. So last week we talked about hummus and how we used um, the tahini, the sesame paste, to go with the uh, chickpeas to to make hummus, and that's one way to eat the hummus. I mean the chickpeas. So today let's just talk about the chickpea itself. Chickpeas is a Mediterranean um, food that is used a lot. It is sometimes also called the garbanzo beans. Um, it's in the legume family and it's a really favorite choice for a lot of vegetarians because it is a really good protein source. Mind you, even though chickpeas is a good source of protein, it's not a complete protein profile, meaning it doesn't have all the different types of amino acids, but it's still good and it's also high in fiber, so it does help your uh, digestive system. And chickpeas is also a good source of calcium, iron, magnesium, potassium, and sodium. So little trace minerals to help you with your, your immune system. But it's not the only way to eat chickpeas. You can buy a can of chickpeas, just drain it and throw it into a salad. That's an option. Or you can put in a hummus. That's an option. Um, if you want to do something with it, um, I know some people that actually blend this up, um, grind this in like, like a coffee grinder kind of thing, and turn this into a chickpea flour, and then you can use it a variety of, way of ways, like just to use it like flour does. Or you can do what I do. All I do is, um, I so I buy dry chick, dry chickpeas, dry garbanzo beans. So I soak them, and then I cook them, and then we drain it. And then after that, you can um, lay it on a sheet of uh, a sheet pan, and then bake it in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. Take it out, shake it a little bit, and then bake it for another 10 minutes. Take it out, season with a little salt and pepper, and it's a really good crunchy snack that is satisfying and is you know healthy and is much better than just grabbing a bag of chips. And yeah, that's it. there you have it. This is the file hacking for the week.